Hey everybody, this is Joby, and um, today I have a special request for a video, and uh, a longtime subscriber to the channel, Julilla, I think she was like probably the third or fourth subscriber, and she comments every single day on the videos, and she was talking about the D-pad, and the thing she was describing is um, there's some confusion going on with how it works. So that's what the video is going to be about today. But before we get started, I'd like to ask everybody to please like this video and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. So that way you can get notified of whenever I make a video. I make a video every single day, no matter what. And that's the best way to support the channel, to watch the videos. Also, you can join me on Discord, the most chill Discord server on the planet. Got about 107 members in there. It's a lot of fun. And... You can also join my guild if you want to, Upper Echelon Mediocrity. Just send me a friend request and a message, and I'll get you in the guild, because I know people. If anybody wants to donate to the channel, there's a PayPal link in the About section. My content will always be free, but all donations are greatly accepted. All right, so let's get started. Um, Jalil was saying that she can only use the up slot on the D-pad, so I think what's going on is she's confused about the way it works okay there's only the up slot because if you do the to the left you change weapons if you do the right you change your uh quest and if you press down you can adjust your pov point of view okay so you can bring it out or you can bring it in all right so the way the d-pad works or the quick slot works is what we're talking about is you actually press up but you hold it and then you'll have that wheel appear okay and I'm gonna show you how to slot all the items in there in just a second so while you're holding it if you were to go over to say Twilight Shard it says Twilight Shard right there I'm using the right stick to move it around the Vasa soul or the Antiquarian's eye or the essence of spell power okay so let's say I went over to Twilight Shard and then I let go now you can see in the quick slot the Twilight Shard is there and you can see that the up press up on the d-pad is highlighted it's very difficult to see but you can tell it's white instead of the other arms being black of the d-pad so if I press up and then it'll use the memento of Twilight Shard it's very cool you used to float off the ground and now you don't very disappointing but what are you gonna do alright so then you hold up you just press it and hold it and then you can go back to your uh, power, your spell pots. So the way I work it is like if I'm out of food, okay, I'll hold up. I'll go over to my food. I'll let it go. Hit my food. I'm already two hours, so I'm not going to waste it. Hit my food, and then I hold it up again, and I go immediately back to my pots, my potions. I use spell power and crit power pots, so I always have those in there. Um, I also have immo. <laughs> Immovab immovability pot slotted so let's say somebody comes up to me and they want to duel me since I'm a PV character I have to use some tricks so I'll hit that I'm invisible go back down so I'll be ready sneak away and shoot them in the back not very nice but what are you gonna do you have to cheat sometimes when you're when you are a uh, PvE character. All right, so that's how you use it. Just remember, you always have to hold up. If I want my banker or my merchant, these are what I keep slotted. I love this uh, memento, which is the Vasasal, Vasasatl or whatever. I always keep antiquarian eye. And this was just for a uh, video I did, but I just didn't take it off. All right, so let's say that you wanna do a survey or some surveys. So you'd go to your inventory, slottable items. These are all the things that you can put. Whatever's in here, you can put into your quick slot. So let's say I was gonna do an alchemist survey from Glenumbra. While I'm hovering on it, I press X. And then it lets me know, shows me the wheel. And let's say I put it here, okay? so. As you can see, I'm on my spell power, I'm on the Twilight Shard, and then I just press A. And that's it. It's assigned. So then if I press up, 
and I use the right stick to go down to the alchemist survey I can just let go and it'll be there and then if I press up it cues it up it shows me in where the survey will be and then I press up again and I just go back down to my spell pots so hopefully that's clear I mean sauce the way they do stuff it's like they just think that you already know how to play and they just don't tell you it's sort of like um, GPS GPS is really great if you already know where you're going you know it's like uh, really ridiculous return to the route and you're like I don't know where the route is so um hopefully that will help Julilla if not I hope you just ask me some questions another tip I have is um if I'm if I'm trying to switch bars, a lot of times I don't use my left thumb to come straight down. I'll come all the way over. I'll actually move the left side of the controller up to my thumb, which just comes off the camera. Because a lot of times, like maybe you're running and you need to like, see I can run and then I'll switch bars. Because I'm just moving my right thumb over to do it. And so what I'm actually doing is kind of pivoting by that. I'm pivoting the, um, controller up to meet my thumb as it comes off the stick so I just boom change boom change like that that a lot of times is much faster for me than to use come come off if I'm trying to run and then you have to change bars or something like that not convenient um, another thing I don't know if everybody knows this probably everybody knows this but if you hold the bar switch then you'll put your weapon away and become much more relaxed so that's about it for today I just wanted to uh, I'm a I'm a loyal person and I live by the by the motto value loyalty above all else thank you Raymond Reddington for pretty much embodying my philosophy and uh, Julilla has been there pretty much since day one for the channel I just wanted to help her out I mean, I get it. There's so much stuff in this game that's just ridiculous, like uh, complicated, and you can't figure it out. And most games, you would just, you know, press up for one weapon, press to the right or to the left, or press down, and you'll be like, you know, pistol, rifle, hand grenade, or whatever. And it does not work like that. You have to hold, and you get the wheel, and then you use the right stick to highlight, and then you let go, and that will be the item. Okay? Just like that. Hopefully that's clear. If it's not, Chulilla, let me know. Either in the guild or in the uh, comments. So give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And please leave a comment in the comment section. If there's anything that you'd like to see or if you need help. Obviously I will do videos by request. Hit me up on Xbox One. My name is Coyote, C-H-A-O-T-Y. If you want, you can join my guild. Upper Echelon Medi Mediocrity. We have 122 people with 16 people online. We did the uh, event today. It was great fun. Join me on Discord. There's a link in the description. And until that time, let's get paid.